Hi all, I am Mr. Vinod Atkari, Assistant Professor, Department of Agricultural Engineering, Don Bosco College of Agriculture, Sulkorna, Kepe, Goa. Today, I will present module number 3 on Soil and Water Conservation Engineering, I mean course code, Engineering 1 to 1 for second semester of first year, BSc Agricultural, Agriculture Honors. The name of the module is Wind Erosion, that is principal mechanics and types of soil movement in wind erosion. The outline of module covers principles of wind erosion, factor affecting wind erosion, mechanics of wind erosion, types of soil movement in wind erosion, sand dunes and its types. At the end of this module, the students will be able to learn about principles of wind erosion, different factors affecting on wind erosion, mechanics of wind erosion, types of soil movement in wind erosion, sand dunes and its types. So start with definition of wind erosion. It is the process of detachment, transportation and deposition of soil particle by the action of wind. Here the water is not considered, only wind is considered. The basic causes of wind erosions are, first is the soil is loose or finely or it is completely dry. Second, soil surface is smooth and bare. Third one is the wind is strong enough to detach the soil particles from the soil surface. Factors affecting wind erosion. First is the climatic factor. In this, many factors are considered like precipitation, temperature, relative humidity, velocity and density of prevailing wind. When the rainfall is comparatively less, the moisture content in soil at that case is very less, means soil is very uh, too much dry. so that the soil particle detaches from soil surface very easily and causes soil erosion. Second factor is the soil condition. The soil properties like texture, structure of the soil, size of the soil particle, density of the soil, then organic content, organic matter inside that soil, moisture content and surface roughness characteristics of the soil. A high soil moisture content always reduces the effect on the wind on soil erosion. While dry soil is subject to severe wind erosion. If the soil moisture is more, that soil is less susceptible to the wind erosion. So the roughness of soil creates retarding effect on the wind velocity. So that that soil uh, means the rate of wind uh, erosion is less in that soil. Last factor is the vegetation. If the vegetation is there, it creates obstruction in the flow path of blowing wind and deflects that wind current. Mechanics of wind erosion. Here, this mechanics of wind erosion is explained by using the three phases. First is the initiation phase, second one is the transportation of the soil particles, and third one is the deposition of the soil particle. Initiation of soil movement is further divided into three movements that is, suspension, saltation, and surface creep. Initiation movement of soil particle is caused by wind forces against or parallel to the surface of ground. The erosive wind is turbulent at all heights except close to the ground, it is laminar. As we come to the ground surface, the wind velocity decreases and as we go beyond the, uh, as we increase the height from ground surface, the velocity increases. First in, uh, initiation phase that is the suspension. It is the movement of very fine soil particle, generally less than 0.1 mm in diameter. A small particle has very low settling velocity and once they lifted up, it remains suspended in air for a um, long period of time by the effect of turbulence. It has been found that 3 to 40 percent of soils are transported through this suspension mechanism. Second initiation phase is the saltation. The soil particles carried by wind moved in a series of bounces or it is also called as jumps. The size of particles moved from the saltation is 0.5 mm, 0.05 mm to 0.5 mm size. The direct heat of the wind against soil particle dislodges that particle from their seats and then that particle is carried in, in the form of series of bounces or jumps. Likewise, in these photographs, the jumps are shown here. The horizontal distance through which the particle continues to rise is about 1, 1, 1 by 5th to 1 by 4th of the distance L. Suppose this lateral distance between this initial and final velocity is L. So the height of that particle rises 
one one by fifth to one by fourth of the is distance L. The major portion of the soil is transported by the saltation process. Around fifty to seventy five percent soil is carried by this saltation process. Last initiation moment is the surface creep. It is the rolling or sliding of the large soil soil particle. Here the si size of particle is large. It is varies from point five to two mm in size. So the weight of soil eroded by wind in surface creep is varies from five to twenty five percent. Here, lastly, the coarsely granulated soil means the soil having more uh, particle size will be carried by surface creep, and the fine particles or pulverized soil will be carried by first two phases that is saltation and suspension. Second phase, transportation of soil particle. Transportation is influenced by the particle size or uh, gradation uh, or wind velocity and distance across across the eroding area. Third, deposition of soil particle. When the deposition of soil particle occurs, when gravitational force is greater than the resisting force. Sand dunes. Sand dunes is a sand web of approximately triangular in shape. Once a bed of sand dunes becomes exposed to the wind, it starts moving in the direction of the wind. The sand dunes, once formed, it can submerge good cultivated lands also. Uh, the example of these sand dunes is, is in Rajasthan. These sand dunes are there. The typical sand dunes has a gentle slope, varies from five to ten degrees to windward side, and much steeper slope in the direction up to thirty percent in leeward side. The typical sand dune is shown in this photograph. The whole dune is liable to move forward by transfer of sand grains from windward to the leeward side. Sand dunes are classified into two types: active dunes and fixed dunes. Active dunes are further classified into three types: that, that is, crescent dunes, linear dunes, and pyramidal dunes. These are the references. Thank you.